Adorana could be a huge utility NFT project in 2022 and 2023, and I'm going to be telling you guys why in today's video. So yeah, today I'm telling you guys about Adorana. Adorana is, you know, a new favorite of mine in the NFT space, and I wanted to bring this video to you guys today to just really tell you about, you know, why I think it could succeed um, and do super, super well in the coming months and years. So I'm going to stop waffling and get straight into today's video. So yeah, let's get straight on into it. So you guys can see here, if you want to be heard, make a statement, become a part of the most significant metaverse advertising community now you're probably wondering all right tommy what's so good about this nft collection i see you know you become a part of the most significant metaverse advertising community tell me why it's the most significant well i'm gonna scroll down a bit and tell you guys a little bit more about adorana nfts so obviously you guys can see here adorana nfts are your gateway to the first and largest metaverse advertising platform by owning one or more of our collection of 10,000 unique NFTs designed by award-winning artists and secured on the Ethereum blockchain, you become part of a new exciting advertising revolution. Um, so obviously you guys, you can, you can note there, um, there's 10,000 unique NFTs, which is a very, very nice number. Um, owning one or more as well, um, you become a part of the new exciting advertising revolution. And it's on the Ethereum blockchain as well, you know, a well-known blockchain um, solidified its spot. Obviously, I don't really need to explain too much about Ethereum um, and NFTs. You know, the Ethereum blockchain has been the staple of the NFT space um, for a while now. Um, you can see down here, metaverse platforms are gaining popularity at incredibly high rates, creating the opportunity for unimaginable advertising reven uh, revenues that we intend to harvest by establishing ourselves as the key player in this landscape. So, you know, Adrana, what Adrana NFTs are trying to do here is, as I mentioned earlier, be a first in that sort of space. You know, the meta metaverse advertising space isn't really, you know, it's not really taken over by a huge, huge, huge project right now. And what Adrana are doing, they're basically being a pioneer in that space. Uh, and that's another reason why I'm a big, big fan of this project. Because, you know, when I look at innovative ideas and, you know, pioneers in their sort of sub-genres of the NFT space, um, that definitely brings me, you know, more towards the project. Um, and, and definitely another reason why I do like the Adrana NFTs. You see, together with you, we will launch our platform that will allow meta real estate owners to automatically set up ad boxes, interactive advertising posters, and billboard screens in their virtual space. Cases. The platform will run ads on ad boxes in exchange for Adorana tokens, um, ADR, which is obviously the token there. I'm going to be getting into that a little bit later in the video, um, which will be distributed to our community in exchange for staking their NFTs. You see down here as well. We also want to add a human touch to the metaverse. Part of each ad box's screen time will be allocated to Adorana NFT holders for non commercial use. You'll be free to make a statement and be heard and seen across the metaverse. So, what they're doing there as well. Um, it's integrating a side um, of, you know, human nature to the metaverse that I don't really see a lot, you know, a lot of projects talking about. Um, and that definitely, again, makes me, you know, love this project even more. We come on here, you see benefits and utilities, holder rewards and staking, revenues of the meta advertising platform will be generated in Adrunner's own ADR tokens, bringing DeFi to advertising. Um, these will be distributed to our community through staking. 45% of ADR earnings will be allocated to the meta estate owners, and scaling up the platform while 55% will flow to NFT holders. Once DAO tools are implemented, the community will decide on the ratio, which is a very, very nice feature they've got going there um, about, about the DAO segment. You can see increase in value as we scale up and more advertisers acquire ADR tokens to place their ads. The value of ADRs and the ad run NFTs will soar. So you guys know, um, you guys should know anyway how, you know, over time as demand goes up for a certain, you know, uh, project, uh, the price also goes up. So, you know, with Adrunner being a pioneer in their, in their subgenre of the metaverse and the NFT space, I definitely do see this project, you know, possibly doing well um, throughout the year and further on, you know, 2023 and, and 2024, further, you know, further on um, past this year. Uh, but obviously, it's not financial advice. Always invest your own risk and do your own research, guys. Invest your own risk, do your own research. I'm just telling you guys exactly what I like and showing you guys, you know, the things that I, I, I've, I've seen. You see Breeder NFTs, only two generations of Adrunner NFTs are ever to come to life. By staking two Adrunner NFTs, a completely new Adrunner Gen Z NFT will be bred. The number of Gen Z NFTs to be bred will be limited to 5,000. Um, you see make a statement in the metaverse as well. NFT holders will be entitled to regular non-commercial screen time on random app boxes. Through this feature, the owners can spread ideas and let users across the metaverse know what they stand for. If you want to be heard, make a statement. So again, I mentioned earlier how they're trying to implement the human nature part um, into uh, what they're doing. And I you know, really do respect that. 
um, as a lot of other projects aren't doing the same thing. So you guys can see here, I'd run an NFT minting quarter one, 2022. Prototype showcase in quarter two, 2022. Um, we've got Advan and Gen Z NFT breeding and sale as well, which is very, very nice. DAO governance and partnerships reveal quarter, quarter four, 2022. You see the Advan a platform launch in quarter one, 2023. Um, the platform will enable meta estate owners to generate ad boxes on the services, thereby auto or automating the process and removing the need to actively acquire land plots and ad place and rights. Um, and ad runner platform scale up 45% of turnover will be spent on motivating mayor estate owners to engage on upgrading and scaling up the platform. So, you know, they're investing right back into the project. Uh, and that's another thing that I deeply respect within uh, projects when, you know, they're putting, you know, the profit straight back in to where, you know, where it basically began. You see a lot of projects, you know, with the money, they're not too clear on where it's going, you know. They haven't cemented in their roadmap, you know, right, this is what we're going to do with the money. Whereas Adrunner have, you know, openly explicitly mentioned here, 45% of turnover will be spent on motivating mayor estate owners to engage on upgrading and scaling up the platform. So they are motivated to put money back into the platform, which I like to see. Adrunner team here as well. You can see Skywalker, Papika, Gertz and Avid Thinking. You know, they all have their LinkedIn's here as well. You see LinkedIn, LinkedIn, LinkedIn. Um, you know, very open people. I've looked into the team a bit more before this video. Um, and I definitely can, you know, say these people are experiencing what they're doing. I like a diverse team. You guys know this. We've got the product owner, the art director, the blockchain expert, and a CMO here. Four different segments, all working on different things, you know. Um, that's one thing I like to see when I'm looking at a project like this. And an art director as well, this experience is a key thing. Um, and Popika is definitely, in my opinion, the right person to be the art director for such... I, I'm not going to say, you know, this this could be a huge project. I'm not going to say it is going to be a huge project, but it could be a huge project. And Papika, I think, taking the role on of, as our director and with what he's done in the past is definitely a, a plus uh, on that side of things. So there's a little FAQ down here. Um, if you guys are interested in that, if you guys don't know already, even though I've explained most things in this video, you guys can see Ad Runner NFT. So you see 20k followers almost. You know, that's a very, very huge amount. You guys can see here as well. Um, the pin tweet of 3,000 likes, 6,000 retweets, 700 um, replies. You know, there is a lot and a lot of demand for this project. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Like, you can see the amount of people that are interacting with the tweets that are a part of the community. And when that is a thing, you know, there's probably going to be demand for the project. And when there's demand for a project, demand and volume normally helps the price go up. But obviously, this is not financial advice. Always invest your own risk and do your own research, guys. I always just, you know, I'm just telling you guys about the projects that I really like. So remember, always invest your own risk, do your own research. Invest your own risk, do your own research. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you join my Discord down below. I love talking crypto and NFTs with you guys. And make sure you subscribe with notifications on. I post two new videos a day. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.